can't properly address issues surrounding housing until you can address the lack of affordable housing in the different parts of the country. Welcome. My name is Ola Chiyandikwa and this is FMBN Podcast. Reports have shown that in recent times there has been 50% increase on the price of rent nationwide. The dream of every Nigerian now is to own a home. This home ownership dream is one of the reasons why we bring to your screen every Friday the opportunity to own your own home through the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. Impressed for customer satisfaction, the FMBN just concluded their customer service week. In today's episode, we'll give you the highlights of the event. But before we dive in, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. Let's go. Is it again? Oga, I did drive this car, my mind no day. My landlord is on my neck. Your landlord again. I thought I have told you this before. Get a mortgage, register with NHF scheme, and get a home up front. What is so difficult about this? Oga, I will do just that. See, eh? I will shame that my landlord. Mortgage. <laughs> At the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, everyone deserves a home. Welcome back. This program is proudly sponsored by the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. Now, let's move to the housing fact. Is it the monthly contributions that determine the loan amount? Let's hear the answer. No. The loan amount is determined by the applicant's affordability. This entails his or her income level that will enable repayment of the loan. The Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, during their customer service week, created an interactive section between customers, developers, and management. Let's join Austin Bitrosinum for the report. The Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, in celebrating her customer service week, set up an interactive session between developers, beneficiaries, customers, and management of the bank. The session was to create a forum of open conversation between customers and management to hear their complaints and commendations as well as their questions and suggestions for the growth and success of the parties involved. Recall that at the opening of the customer service week, the MD and CEO of the bank, Madhu Haman, charged workers of the bank to work effectively towards customer satisfaction while reminding customers that they are key to the organizational success. Group work or your unit work, but we should look at the organization as a whole. What service is expected to be delivered as an organization? If we all play our individual roles with the mind of delivering service to customers at the end of the day, would improve on our service delivery and therefore give better customer satisfaction. So we need high morale, high motivation, and better teamwork amongst all our workers. The session had in attendance the Executive Director of Loans and Mortgage Services, the ED Business Portfolio and Management, the Group Head, corporate communications, unit heads, developers, beneficiaries, and other officials of the bank. Opening the conversation, ED Loans and Mortgage Services' Lukman Mustafa appreciated and thanks the customers for keeping up the relationship that has benefited both parties while stating the importance of the forum. To appreciate you all and to know that we value and cherish you all. And this period is an important occasion for us to let you know that the relationship we have is very important to us. We sincerely appreciate you all. Discussions were held, suggestions were made on perceived challenges by these parties. I actually consult uh, the management with the little challenge we had in such a way that we had, uh, when we submit most of all those documents, I think uh, the person actually in charge gave us a little uh, condition earlier, which has actually been resolved. Because we submitted the form, so we submitted some of these things since uh, last year, if I'm not mistaken, and whereby the 
the documentation was actually a bit delayed time but unfortunately you know instead of doing good it almost uh, ran out of ran out of business because the turnaround time because we believed the way the proposal was made to us from FHA within six months you know these applicants will get their individual mortgages 15 15 million and all of that so we had our cash flow projection on that basis we won't you know um financed against those receivables but eventually it took two years to crystallize so that cost us a lot you know with regards to other commitments we had on that on that part. Uh, we should please uh, let's keep it up sir and uh, let's let's maintain that standard the standard is high now and uh, we cannot afford to drop it uh, i am your ambassador uh, anywhere i go my people here they know we are still together so I represent Federal Mugge Bank anywhere I go, in as much as I'm with uh, first generation Mugge Bank. And I know that if I see anything that can, or that is inimical to the progress of the bank, I will always uh, shout out. On the other part of it, flip side of it, I also want to say the state offices need to have an understanding of what it is we are doing with the head office. That is like a symbiosis relationship, not like we, we are just a developer. Because when we go there, because of the position I occupy, I tend to interface with them. Forget the fact that it's a loan being given to us and we have to repay and it comes with interest. Not as much as we are trying to package those documents so that it could be processed on time. You see that they don't attach so much importance to it. They bring so much brick walls. Once this one is surmounted, they bring another one. You now ask them, why was why was this one not said earlier? It's like those deal with it. So I feel that officers in those places should be either enlightened so that those policies will also be known to them. Responding to some of the issues raised, the EDs stated the bank's commitment and how they have improved greatly and also working hard to address the issues of concern. Right now, we are looking at uh, a more seamless process, which of course, the core banking area is what we have actually put in place. We want a situation where we have this system well centralized. All the 36 branches we have all over the states, the head office, we are looking at a very seamless centralized system. So with that, I want to really thank you all for this special contribution which I felt so happy and we have not really let any of you down. They however charged the developers to let houses that have been awarded by the bank while making commitment to deliver on their mandates. The one the renewed vision, the renewed hope vision of President Ahmed Bola Tinobu has housing as one of its cardinal points. And the vision or the, the target is to deliver 3 million houses annually. And within 10 years, we want to reduce the deficit or increase housing units by 30 million. This gives 3 million houses, new houses annually. I believe that the stakeholders here present, the developers, the PMBs, uh, contributors, as well as Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, have very important role to play in the attainment, in the achievement of this vision. We have prepared our vision, we have prepared our target. It's a very tall order. It's something that requires us to do like times 10 of what we are currently doing or even much more. But we are committed to it and we want developers to equally key into this vision, we want the primary mortgage banks to key into this vision and encourage our contributors and potential contributors to continue to contribute so that we'll be able to contribute significantly to the 3 million um, housing units delivery for the first one year starting from this October. The developers, customers and beneficiaries thanked and appreciated the bank for the services they are enjoying from the bank. Currently the FMBN uh, housing scheme have initiated different kind of policies which can improve the housing deficits in the country. Uh, after the meeting today, after the program today, uh, from the management side, 
there is a lot of uh, there is a lot of input there is a lot of initiative and policies to be implemented very soon in order to reduce housing deficits in the country interactive forum and i'm very very um, sure that the crop of management i saw out here today and even with some of the policies policy framework they are coming up with in terms of their new product and all of that shows that they are quite very proactive and that they are going to um, meet us beyond our expectation in terms of um, you know adhering to some of the concerns we've raised i'm i'm very sure that um, that won't be um, left behind right, lastly what do you say to nigerians well to, be, to nigerians uh, who are who are stakeholders and who are mostly the beneficiary for this scheme I want to let you know that um, it is possible um, out there in other climes, mortgage is something that is very efficient. People enjoy a lot of flexibility owning houses without breaking an arm and a leg. You know, we're trying to replicate that in Nigeria through the Federal Mortgage Bank scheme. It was a great moment for all the stakeholders. The bank, showing appreciation, presented some gift items and all the stakeholders living happily. That was quite an interesting section. Thank you. Austin Beatrice Let's quickly take a commercial break. When we'll come back, we'll present you with the FNBN News of the Week. Latest couple in town. Good day, sir. How are you? Oh, sit down, sit down, sit down. Thank you, sir. Uh, drinks? No, we're, we're fine, sir. How was the moon experience? It was quite an experience. Mm. How about the house? We are renting at the moment, but we intend to save enough to own a home house, right? Why not avoid all those Shylock landlords and own a house up front? You know, the average income and cost of building houses today in Nigeria, not age, is the best option. No sweat. I tell you what, that was how I got my first house, and I've never regretted it. To make good homes, and by implication, a good society, an individual is expected to have an abode from which to take off and return at the end of each day. At the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, everyone deserves a home. Come join us at FMBN, and let's shelter Nigeria together. This program is proudly sponsored by the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. Now let's take the news for the week. And that's all we have for you on today's episode of the show. Please join us on another interesting edition of the show next week. But before we go, please follow us on all our social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at 7TV Nigeria. You can also follow us on our YouTube at 7FM underscore TV. 
You can visit us on our website, www.7media.ng. Do well also to follow us on www.fmbn.gov.ng for more inquiries. I will be on your screens next week. Please stay with us again till next week. My name is Olachi Anikwa.